Hi, I'm Brandon Campbell from the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make oyster Rockefeller. Uh, so this is a pretty simple recipe. Okay, so what you're going to need are a few shucked oysters. This recipe should cover about a dozen. You'll need about a cup of chopped spinach and about half of a cup of another bitter green, something like arugula or Swiss chard or watercress, a tablespoon of basil, a tablespoon of parsley, two cloves of garlic, a half of a shallot, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, a half of a lemon, one melted stick of butter, about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese and then more to top with after, and then salt and pepper to taste. Right, so we're gonna start off by making the mixture, which is gonna require a cup of spinach that's uh, nicely chopped up, and another half of a cup of another bitter green, something like arugula or watercress. I'm using carrot greens, because that's I had extra in the house. Uh, about a tablespoon of chopped basil, and a tablespoon of parsley. And then that's all the greens. And then you're gonna need about two cloves of garlic, about half of a shallot, and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So to that, I'm also going to add about a tablespoon's worth of Parmesan cheese, a, half, a stick of melted butter, and about a half of a lemon's worth of lemon juice. All right, so you're gonna take all those ingredients and you're just gonna mix them around. Um, the consistency should be something like where you could pack a ball into it. And then, uh, you know, add salt and pepper to taste. Like that. All right, so now that you have your mixture, you get your shucked oysters. If you don't know how to shuck oysters, Shannon Hood does a great video on the Maryland Sea Grant page. And you're gonna take this mixture and you're just gonna put it right on top of your shucked oysters. Just like that, just a nice even coating. All right, so once you do that, you can put them on a tray and top them with a little bit of Parmesan. And then you're gonna put them into the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes until they start looking a little golden brown and a little bubbly. And there you have it, Oyster Rockefeller. Enjoy.